I'd now like to welcome the great, great grandson of Elizabeth Buffum Chase, Arnold Buff Chase Jr. Wow, this is going to be difficult. All you guys are professional uh, public speakers, and I was not bad until I hit 70, and then I, I usually uh, burst into tears uh, during my remarks, so please bear with me. Thank you all for being here this morning, and, and thank you, Governor, for adjusting your schedule. And to the congressional delegation, my friend, Senator Reid and Senator Whitehouse, and Congressman Langevin and Congressman Sisley. Uh, and Congressman, as has been mentioned before, Congressman Cicilline actually put the resolution forward to dedicate this building on the floor of the House in Washington in a moving speech about her life. I think it's on YouTube if you, <laughs> anybody would like to check it out. Thanks to all of you for your support of this dedication. Uh, as, you, as you have heard, EBC was from Valley Falls, which we now know as Central Falls. You will hear more about EBC from her biographer uh, in a couple of minutes, and I'll leave her to tell the wonderful story of this abolitionist, suffragist, reformer, and advocate for women. <coughs> Three years ago, the mayor of this city at the time, James D'Alessio, called me and told me <coughs> of his vision to name this post office for EBC. He pointed out that the high school kids in the community get off the school bus there, and then they walk up to the high school. Uh, he wanted them to know more about this woman who, who took stands for things. He wanted them to know she was from the same place that they were from. Okay. It was inspiring. He's correct, too. <laughs> at, the, at the time, we thought to put a, a mural on the building as well, but it turned out that the rules for the post office exteriors prevent that. Instel, instead, we will have a plaque with her bio on the building, and hopefully a mural, mural depicting her legacy in some other building. I thank James and also Mayor Vera who came into office and carried the torch for EBC's name here. As you know, Elizabeth Buffum Chase is my forebearer, and she is also the forebearer of a number of wonder wonderful people who've traveled here today. Could I please ask the members of my family to stand and be recognized? Thank you. Oh gosh, I wish I could get a grip on myself. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, in preparing for this event today, I have been thinking about what her transmission to us might be. After all, she died in 1899, and we were born many decades later. But as I thought about it, it became clear to me. Our grandfather, Malcolm Green Chase, was her grandson. He was a big personality in our lives, in the lives of his 14 grandchildren. And since he was born in 1875, <coughs> he would have known her for the last 24 years of her life. We all know of the wonderful relationship many, as many of us have with our grandparents and how influential that relationship can be to us. I know how much my grand and his legend meant to me. So I'm wondering, believing that a similar relationship may have existed between him and his grandmother, Elizabeth Buffum Chase. So the more I thought about it, about, about this, the more the channels opened up for me to feel directly inspired by this strong and wonderful woman. 
Though born in Providence with early years in Fall River, she ended up here in Central Falls, where she gave her best to the people who lived here and to our state. For all of us, family is important, and our communities where we live are important. We all know that if we can represent any one of the many values she represented, we are doing okay. We are grateful to her. <laughs>